Hello, this is Pastor Dawn again from the First Congregational Church of Brimfield. In fact, coming to you from the backyard of the parsonage here in Massachusetts, you will see the snow is all gone and it's now 60 degrees outside. And so I'm taking a moment just to enjoy the sun and to fill my soul. And I have to tell you that one of the phrases that's been repeating in my mind is all is well with your soul. I was probably first introduced to that phrase as it related to Julian of Norwich. Those of you who don't know Julian of Norwich, she was an anchorite, she was a nun, um, for lack of a better word, who lived around 1373 and who became deathly ill and when she was ill she had these visions of God who carried her through a series of visions and one of the phrases that she came out with was all will be well with my soul all is well whatever may come she did end up surviving this near-death experience and in fact went on to live another 33 years after this illness where she wrote down her visions and both in a short version and a long version which I strongly recommend that you take the time. It's called A Shoeing of God's Love. It is a worthy read from a woman of our past who endured more than most, a reminder that God is with us in both good and bad, and that perhaps we grade our life by the wrong ruler. A reminder that all being well doesn't necessarily mean all is good. It can mean that things actually are not so good or that they're very uncomfortable, but that we can get through it and that even in bad times, there are great consolation people that come forward, community that is engaged, lights that are being put out all around this country to let people know that we love them. There are great visions of love. And there's actually a hymn that came from this phrase that was written many years later. Um, and it was written by Horatio G. Spofford. You may know it. It is either called When Peace Like a River or It Is Well With My Soul. It's one of my all-time favorites. And I don't know if you've ever noticed, this is from our Black New Century hymnal, but in the bottom corner, there are little notes about the backgrounds of these songs. And I actually looked up a little bit more. What you don't know about this song when you sing it, which is so uplifting and so beautiful, that Horatio had a really rough life, that he and his wife, Anna, had many children. One of his young sons died of pneumonia and they had four remaining daughters. The wife and the daughter took a trip across the ocean and the ocean liner hit another ocean liner and sunk. His four daughters were killed in that trip across the Atlantic. I can't imagine. His wife Anna did survive, but as he took a steamer to be with her in her grief, this hymn was written, which says, when peace like a river upholds me each day, when sorrows like sea billows roll, Whatever my lot, you have taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. And so as we continue being physically isolated from one another, as we are held out of our places of comfort, like our church buildings, as life is disrupted and maybe we aren't able to be with our loved ones, I know this is a trying time. But I encourage you to hear these words, that all is well, that all is well, that despite these, love wins, and that God is with us, and that we will continue to strive towards sending even more love out into this world, and that soon, very soon, we will all be together again. 
may you hear these words may you be able to hold on to them may you they give you strength and fortitude and may you stay healthy and thank you to all of you that are putting yourself on the line to make sure that this world continues to move and our prayers go out to you, those of you who are sick those of you who have had loved ones die and those of you that feel so very alone and confused in this time may god be with all of us today tomorrow and always may all continue to be well amen